In this lesson, we're going to talk about how we could round numbers to the appropriate number of significant figures. So let's start with this example, 36.473. How can we round it to four significant figures? How can we do this? Counting from left to right, let's focus on the fourth significant digit, which is the seven. So we need to determine if we're going to round it down to 7 or round it up to 8. To figure that out, we need to look at the number to the right, which is a 3. If that number is 5 or more, we're going to round this number up. If it's 4 or less, we're going to round this number down or keep it at a 7. So 3 is not 5 or more. So we're going to round this number down. So this is going to be 36.47. As you can see, we have four significant figures. Any non-zero number is considered a significant figure. Now, zeros, sometimes they're significant, sometimes they're not. For those of you who want to find out when is zero, if, when is zero is significant or not, check out this video. If you go to the YouTube search bar, type in Significant Figures, a Fast Review, Organic Chemistry Tutor. And that video will tell you how you can determine if a zero is significant or not. I'm also going to post the link in the description section below so you can find that video there as well. But now let's get back to this problem. Now how can we round this number to three significant figures? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try that. So 4 is the third significant digit. Looking at the number to the right of 4, we have a 7. 7 is 5 or more, so we're going to round the 4 up to a 5. So this is going to be 36.5. Now what if we want to round that same number to two significant figures? What will the answer be now? So 6 is the second significant digit. Looking to the number to the right of 6, that's a 4. So that's not 5 or more, which means we're going to round down. So 36.473 will be rounded to 36. Now finally, what if we want to round it to one significant figure? In this case, let's focus on the first significant digit, which is a 3. Focusing on the number to the right of 3, we have a 6. So that's in a category of 5 or more, which means we're going to round a 3 up to a 4. So 36.473, we're not going to round it to 4. We're going to round it to 40. 40 is closer to this number than 4 is. Now 40, this doesn't have two significant figures. This has one significant figure. A 0 that exists to the right of a significant figure like 4 that doesn't have any decimal points, that 0 is not significant. So 40 has one significant figure, but 40 with a decimal point has two significant figures. Again, you can learn these rules in that video entitled Significant Figures, a Fast Review. So you can find that in the description section below this video. Now let's work on some practice problems. Around each number to three significant figures. Feel free to pause the video if you want to work on these problems yourselves. So let's go ahead and begin. 8.379, how can we round that to three sig figs? So let's focus on the third significant digit from the left, that's a seven. Looking at the number to the right, that's a nine. So that's part of the category of being five or more. So we're gonna round the seven up to an eight. So this is gonna be 8.38. And this number has three sig figs, so we could stop here. Now what about 12.528? So we're going to focus on the third significant digit. Looking at the two, that tells us that we need to round down. So we're going to round 12.528 to 12.5. So this number has three sig figs. Now what about 0 0.007504? Now you need to know that zeros to the left of the first significant digit, these zeros are not significant. 
So this is the first significant digit. This is the second one. A zero between two non-zero numbers, that zero is significant. So this zero is the third significant digit, counted from the left. So we need to focus on this one. Looking at the number four, should we round this number down to zero or round it up to one? What would you say? Well, four is not five or more, so we're going to round this down. Now, should we write the answer as 0 0.0075 or should we write it as 0 0.00750? What would you say? Looking at this number, that's two significant figures. So that wouldn't fit what we're trying to do here. This zero to the right of a non-zero digit is significant if there's a decimal point. Again, if you want to learn these rules, check out that video, Significant Figures, a fast review. So because this zero is significant, this is the answer. It has three significant figures. Now, moving on to the next example, we have 0 0.082406. So the four is the third significant digit from the left. Looking at the next one, the zero, that tells us we need to round down. So we're just going to make this 0 0.0824. Now, what about 43,568? What should we do with such a large number? Well, we're going to follow the same process. We're going to look at the third significant digit, and we're going to focus on the number to the right. So because we have a six, which is five or more, we're going to round this number up. So here we have 568. We're going to round that 5 to a 6. But the question is, how should we write this? After we write 43 and then 6, what should we do after that? Because if we leave it as 436, 436 has a, it's significantly different in value compared to 43,568. So we can't stop here because these two numbers are nowhere close to each other. In a situation like this, you need to replace these numbers with a zero. So 568, you want to round that up to 600. So this becomes 43,600. These two numbers are much closer to each other and we have three significant figures. The zeros to the right of six they're not significant because we do not have a decimal point. So because we have three sig figs, we can leave the answer like this. Now what about 350,000? This one could be a little tricky. How would you round this to three sig figs? I want you to take a moment to think about this one, to figure it out. So if we focus on the third significant figure, you may think it's a zero, but that zero is not significant because we don't have a decimal point and it's not between two non-zero digits. The same way as this zero is not significant. So how can we round this to three significant figures? Would you focus on the five? If you focus on the five and look to the zero, you would have to round the five down or keep it at a five. So what would you do here? In a situation like this, it's easier if you convert this to scientific notation. By the way, for those of you who haven't learned how to convert a number like this to scientific notation, I'm going to put some links in the description section below that'll explain how to do that. But here's the quick shortcut method. If we were to add a decimal point here, to convert it to scientific notation, we need to move the decimal point between the first two non-zero digits. So one, two, three, four, five. Or correction, between the first two digits. That's a more accurate way of describing it. So basically, we need to get the decimal point here. Because we move it five spaces to the left, this is going to become 3.5 
I'm going to keep all the zeros for now. We had four zeros. And we moved five spaces to the left, so this is going to be 10 to the fifth power. 10 to the fifth power, if you multiply 10 five times, you're going to get 100,000. And 3.5 times 100,000 is 350,000. So you could check your work um, by doing a quick mental calculation. But right now, we have our number in scientific notation, but at this point, all these zeros are considered significant because we have a decimal point. So in order to round it to three significant figures, we need to get rid of some zeros. All we got to do is just get rid of these three zeros and we're good. So the answer is going to be 3.50 times 10 to the 5. So now let's check our answer. This answer has three sig figs, three significant figures, 3, 5, and 0. And at the same time, it's exactly equal to the original number, which is great. So once those two criteria are met, where you have the appropriate significant figures, and this number is either exactly equal or very close to in value, then you know you've done it correctly. Now, moving on to the next example, we have 3,465.83. Let's round that to three significant figures. So we're gonna focus on the third significant digit, which is a six. Looking at the number to the right, that's a five, so we need to round the six up to a seven. So we're going to have a 3, a 4, and a 7. But what do we do here after that? Because 347 is nowhere close to 3,465.83. Now what we could do is add a 0. 3,465.83 is very close to 3,470. And by adding a 0 and not adding a decimal point, we already have three sig figs. So this answer is satisfactory. We can leave it like that. We don't have to convert to scientific notation as in the case of the previous example. Now moving on to the next one, 80,036.04. What do we do here? So the zeros that are between non-zero digits, those are significant. So this is the third significant figure and looking at the number to the right, that's a three. So we're going to round down or we're going to keep it at a zero. So if we keep it zero or add a zero, we have eight, zero, and a zero. What do we do with these numbers here? Do we just change them all to zeros? If we did that, we could write it like this, or we could write it like this. If we were to write it as 80,000 without any decimal points, we would only have one significant figure. So we don't have three significant figures. Therefore, this option is not going to work. Looking at this option, this will give us, because of the decimal point, all the zeros are significant. So we would have seven significant figures. So that's not going to work. When you run into a wall like this, I recommend converting this into scientific notation. So let's move the decimal point between the first two numbers. So one, two, three, four. As we move it four spaces to the left, we're gonna get 10 to the four. So this is 8.003604 times 10 to the four. But right now, we still have seven significant figures and we only want three. So we're gonna keep this at a zero because, because of the next number three, we need to round it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to 8.00 times 10 to the 4. 10 to the 4 is 10,000. If you multiply 10 four times, times 8, that's approximately 80,000. So these two are very close in value to each other, which is good. And we have three sig figs, which is also good. So this is going to be the best answer that we can come up with for this particular number. Now let's work on some more example problems. Round each number to two significant figures. So let's begin with 439. Looking at the second significant digit, it's a three. And the one to the right of that, that's a nine. So we're gonna round the three up. 
So from 439, we're going to round it to 440. Now, if we were to put a decimal point, that would be three sig figs. So we're not going to do that. If we leave it like this, this zero is no longer significant. So we have two sig figs. So that's going to be the answer. Now for the next one, 57,100. So looking at the second significant digit, it's a seven. To the right, we have a one. So we're going to round down. So 57,100, we're just going to round that to 57,000. Because writing it this way, we have two significant figures. And these two numbers are very close in value to each other. Now, what about the next one? 900,000. How can we round that to two significant figures? What would you do here? In this case, it's good if we convert it into scientific notation. So this will be 9.000000 times 10 to the 5. 10 to the 5 is 100,000 times 9. That gives us 900,000. But now we only want two significant figures, so we're going to get rid of the four zeros here. Therefore, we're going to leave our answer as 9.0 times 10 to the 5. For the next one, looking at the 4, that tells us we need to round down instead of up. So 3.8452 becomes 3.8. For 0 0.04038, the second significant digit is a 0. To the right of that, we have a 3, so we're going to round down. So we're going to round this to 0 0.040. This 0 is not significant, but this one, in it, this one is significant because of the decimal point. So what we have here is two significant figures. Now for 0.8125, this is the second significant digit. Looking at the 2, we need to round down, so we could just leave this as 0.81. So that's it for this problem. Now for the next one, go ahead and round these numbers to one significant figure. So feel free to work on this as I write down these numbers. So 58,000, I mean, 5,879, if we want to round that number to one significant figure, we could just round it up to 6,000. Looking at the 5, we see we have an 8, which is 5 or more, so we round the 5 up to a 6. 6,000 is very close to 5,879. Now what about 456? How can we round that to one significant digit? So focusing on the 4, Looking at the number to the right, we have a 5. We need to round the 4 up to a 5. And then the other numbers, the 5 and 6, we could just replace them with zeros. So 456, we could round that up to 500. Focus on the 2, we have a 9 to the right, so we're going to round the 2 up. We're going to round 29 to 30. And as you can see, all of these, they have one significant figure. The zeros are not significant because there's no decimal point here. Now for 5.21, we could round that down to 5. And for 0 0.086, because of the 6, we could round the 8 to a 9, so it simply becomes 0 0.09. All of these numbers have one significant figure. So that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to round the number to either 1, 2, or 3 significant figures. Thanks for watching.